individually, I realized that after the season, I needed to put on a bit more weight and really work on my strength because I felt like my endurance wasn't very strong and I wasn't able to play a full 40 minutes of basketball. And people were really able to knock me off my cuts offensively and then defensively really get into my body and score. So that was a huge thing for me. Um, also, I need to be a leader this year and really um, just lead my teammates. And we kind of have to play a bit more breezy basketball than we did last year. And I think that's why Indiana was always kind of able to have that one up on us when we faced each other head to head. So as a leader, I'm not going to allow that to happen. And just it's going to start from every single day in practice, given everything we have. Do you think the playoff results helped guide who they wanted to go for this year? Helped guide us? In the picks you're taking today? Ah, uh, definitely. You know, the playoffs kind of show you uh, what you need to improve on and uh, where your weaknesses are. And then obviously what else happened in the draft, where, where other players were going, is going to contribute a lot to the pick that we end up choosing. But um, yeah, the playoffs showed us that we need to be grittier and play some tougher basketball. And I think um, it'll definitely help getting this size. We won't print this, but who did you want him to pick? Uh, I really didn't have any anyone picked out because I knew we had the 10th pick and uh -huh. so much can occur yeah, right. you know, in those 10 picks. So I really didn't even pick anyone. I left that up to Pokey and the rest of the coaching staff to deal with. And I just sat by and was able to watch and enjoy. You mentioned leadership. Where do you see your leadership growing and developing this season? Um, I've always been a leader who likes to lead by example, so that will continue. And I'm, I hope that the off season and all the work that I put in this off season will pay off, and my teammates will see that. But more than anything, I have to become more of a vocal leader. And my assistant coach has been my trainer this whole off season, putting me in very uncomfortable situations, making me talk when I didn't want to, um, bossing around some of my practice boys. But it's all been extremely helpful, and she's been great at kind of pushing me and leading me in the right direction. And she'll continue to throughout the season. Same with Pokey. Well, last year you were uh, sitting at a table waiting for your name to be called. This year you were kind of uh, watching. Uh, how is that emotionally different? For you I'm a year? lot more relaxed this year. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a much older player too. I was telling some of the fans that it doesn't feel like it was only one year ago that I was drafted. It feels like it was like five years ago. So this was a much better situation, not having to wait and see where the fate was going to take me. With the draft pick, there was a little bit of talk of you going back to the three. Do you feel that's your kind of most comfortable spot, or do you feel you're versatile enough to where it doesn't really matter? Um, in my opinion, in, in the offense we run, running the three and the four um, is pretty interchangeable, but I do think now I will be able to slide over to the three position a lot more, which I did a lot in college, so maybe will be able to kind of have me coming off more screens, having the ball in my hand more often than setting the screens and rolling and finding the open position. So I'm excited, but obviously I'll play any position that's needed and game to game that's going to change.